Word salads come in many forms. In psychiatry it refers to a thought disorder, found in various kinds of psychosis, in the creative field, a break from purely logical thinking, to arrive at new meanings. In poetry it suggests playing with language, such as the famous Jabberwocky, poem of Lewis Carroll. Some word salads are complete nonsense. In others you have to pay for the meaning. In this video, it is a mix of all these senses. This semi-divine comedy tells John's tale through his alter ego, me, and some of my friends. It presents a new look at creativity and madness. Let's start preparing the salad. <laughs> Contemporary art is art about art. One artist's commentary about some prior artist's work. Quite different from my time. This playful colorful abstraction might be something that Jasper Johns could have done in video. Just create art. These spoofs of performance art and earthworks art mock the negative green spaces in contemporary art. And true to form has no commercial value whatsoever. Notice the echoes of Robert Smithson's spiral jetty. Much ado about nothingness. No assumptions. Just begin. Subtle play on words explores the role of abstraction in art. 
a commentary on the minimalist movement. A picture is worth a thousand words, or does the image require a thousand words to explain it? You study the past and you clear the slate? And how you solve that problem is your creation. This Zen tale of the tea ceremony is adapted with Jungian overtones. Make friends with your shadow. Guys get in touch with your feminine side to become more receptive and creative. feeling as fine as frog's hair. When I attempted to grab her intent, she slipped beneath some lily pad, and I lost her hidden there. jumps in. Flop. The multimedia artist is fortunate. John begins in one media which stimulates associations in another. In this multimedia piece his music preceded the video, then the poems. 
some individuals are so schizoid it is hard to read them. Hence the title Sublime Sweet. It is like, sublimation in physics, a body disappears. It goes directly from a solid to a vapor without first melting. Sometimes a rose is a rose is not a rose. This whole movie evolved from a group of video clips of the wildlife John took around his home. The sense of home and one's territory, and how we relate to it becomes the focus of this set of poems. This multi-layered poem focuses on boundary issues, venturing into new territory, the need to communicate when separated, love and the risks of getting close, and making appropriate responses. Denizens Catopa blooms Leap from leaves Truth lies Which is it? Disguise Of soft blue In the eyes of Behold, urban foxes bound sanguine tales of another human, playful sound of how we met. Too soon pale with deep regret. Petunia's trumpet, a purple tune. Got your green card? While deer wander into thickets. Do does do what you do? Dip into white water? Still. Fly, and I am close to the wild within. The first movement is free-form orchestral improvisation, like other wild ones to come. This poem poses Kate's question about beauty and truth. Does it lie in the eyes of the beholder? Fuwa's barriers. Does wait by water. While foxes dart across fields. Petunias dance. Those regarding red lights, while foxes dart, unguarded flee, green beyond borders. The second movement is John's only strictly composed piece. 
It is in 5 over 4 and 7 over 4 time like the line beats of the haiku, a Japanese import we have embraced. Fuel's barrier is one of the three barriers or checking stations in Japan that went out of use in 789 AD. Fuel also means softly. The border guard is a dull, barely moving, hardly frightening to the foxes racing across the fields. Creativity and other forms of madness also occur at the border where rules are broken. Inside or outside? Familiar or strange? Disabled or whole? Native or foreign? Domestic or wild? We are not aliens. Water that divides us flows through our veins. We must talk. Fill the chairs. And just sleep on it. Those who are separated need to come together to talk. We can't just hide from difficulties. The same goes with the split off sides of ourselves. Thieves. She stole into my life, took from me, took me in broad daylight. Her neck, long and elegant, she was always on guard. Wild thing, adorned in fur. She devoured me, my gold and rubies. Perfume filled the air. Yet soon it became clear. So captivated, I could not deny her. I wanted to shout as she started to leave. It's better to give than to receive. But you completely cleaned me out, my dear. The fourth movement, Thieves, suggests it is more than deer invading a garden. Saying it with flowers, it returns to the theme of love and sexuality and the fears we all have about our boundaries being breached and becoming intimate. And by implication, an immigration policy that separates the haves from the have-nots, and the fears that our garden will be totally cleaned out. Yet it suggests the paradoxical point that, when we are in love, it is hard to deny our love or anything. Mm. 
Where is wisdom? Underneath, where there's support, no matter how bent or burdened, where the other is embraced, native or not, where there's tongued kisses, however I'd, let's secure the homeland with a new song, develop new motifs, not cancel them out, consonance needs dissonance, the familiar, the strange, let the music begin. The last movement, where its wisdom takes a new position on foreigners. It reminds us that Native Americans and Native trees were there here before us, and we are the immigrants. And like the early settlers who chopped down those in the way, we need to embrace the other. Thus the scene with the deck built around the tree, braced against the wind, not cut down. Can we secure the homeland with love? Can we make music with our differences? As I look out dirty windows, 37 floors above Sandberg City of the Big Shoulders, now guest to parks and cranes and boats moored between tall buildings. Fire hoses cool, steaming boats soaking passengers. When night fell, I dreamt, I crystowed the city, did the drawings, draped my paintings from sides of skyscrapers. Suspended them from scaffoldings and sculpture. I invaded the Art Institute. Hung my own banner. my song with color. Excited my wife, blessed her with peonies, brought love to this stormy, husky, brawling city.
John's tongue-in-cheek adventure in Chicago evolves into a bold dream sequence. Seen from the 37th floor where Lake Michigan meets the river, this video poem is based upon the poetry of Carl Sandburg's Chicago and the works of Jean-Claude Cristo. You can see John's large flower paintings in a new light. He broke into new territory. They belong in that museum, don't you think? Our country's birthday.
Octavia Ross taken on John and Diane's 25th wedding anniversary. When you are stuck in a wheelchair, you can't go up that flower path. We need to help each other. We need to scratch each other's backs. We can't just play duck, duck, goose. And there was no sailboat race there. In John's dreams. It's gonna be on some rough jet lag though, I think. Yeah. It's like gotta be like a 12 hour difference. Grandiosity of John's place in his paintings and videos in the Hamilton edition of the Denver Art Museum is well matched with the architect whose sculpture of the building is more important than the art viewer, who has no vertical lines with which to orient. Thus even Linda, the motionless figure, vomits and everything turns psychedelic as the visual vertigo takes over. She was letters across. He was letters down. She was verb. He was noun. They completed life's puzzle together, subject and predicate bound. They sensed they needed to be together. So they never questioned whether the sentence was sound. It gets sicker. Only the shadow knows. His life of obscure poetry, so vague it was hard to understand what plagued him. Only with great effort could I begin to glimpse what he meant, but most remained hidden 
in his own private world, undisturbed by me. Her feelings were hid beneath her facial mask, no for my help she sure did ask. She talked a lot, but made no sense. It was easy to spot her ambivalence, for in her way pretense was defense. Though she came so close, she remained far away. We are truly strangers to ourselves. John is telling me I must confront my demons, sex, aggression, isolation, and fractured relationships. Therapy acts as a supportive place to hold feelings in awareness until they are worked through. And we are remembered.
we are not the only ones that need therapy. The earth is getting too hot. They say it is too much CO2. Negotiating rapture, rapids, mishap flows, baptized in troubled waters, John for shows, rapt attention, grand inquisitor knows, rap, 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 tapping at my chamber door, tap, 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 solicitor, while I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, nevermore, for neither epitomize nor improvise lesser metaphor, sold thirty pieces of silver, Entrapped in war, Catholicized, dark nights of souls, terrorized, a poor demise, existential crisis with the new ISIS. Jeopardize no more path, just more woes. Judas snapped, scandalized, bastardized to the rise. Identified with a kiss, spiritualized, tantalized, finalized with prize. Who knows, he glows. Came gift wrapped, guised rapture in swaddling clothes. Going from rap to rapture. Are you kidding?
big enough. The magic of cinema spans the history of film and video over one piano improvisation played on June 3, 2006. Did you see John walk by? He finally slowed down. I thought it was a duck. Sometimes I can see the different levels and at other times I cannot. Depth of vision as well as perspective on issues often depends upon where you stand, and if you are relaxed enough to take a new point of view. Is this close enough? Video poets also use words, images, and music to simultaneously suggest multiple levels of meaning. John's wink at two senses of wandering eyes. Alternative looks are important to creative thinking too. But John was two feet away from those legs. Yes, close enough. Sometimes John pushes the software to extremes like this Rothko on steroids. 
At other times the computer crashes and the technology goes mad. If the champion view looks at the loneliness, pain, uncertainty, confusion, and indignities of dealing with multiple sclerosis. She even was a quadriplegic once. Sometimes John cannot just wink at it all and gets pissed off at the madness of multiple sclerosis. Why were we chosen? We are not even Jewish. <laughs> It is not good to mock God.
might have danced in a green bay Rage, rage against the dying of the night Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight And learned too late they grieved it on its way Do not go gentle into that good night Brave men near death who see with blinding sight Blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay Rage, rage against the dying of the light Everything falls with age We try to hang on to those we love And yet, like Bill and Thomas, we get mad at loss Maybe he was afraid of his own mortality And becoming a ghost I want you. Let's finally mix up the elements into a chicken salad. This Neo Gaga play extends the focus from a curious mix of sense and nonsense to meaning and meaninglessness in the style of the theater of the absurd. You go first. No, you go first. You go first. No, you go first. Neither can go first. They are incapable of independent action. When the two became one, two were missing. Reaching to her to find himself, lonely, out of touch. Clinging to her as she clings to him. Two halves. No holes. Something sure, but not much. No, you go first. Chicken. No, you're a chicken. Just a little. Chicken little. Is your sky falling? Afraid to stick your neck out. Don't panic. Just go first. I was first. Duh, duh. I was first. Father of his country. I was the first. The rooster may crow, but the hen delivers the goods. Hot chick. I, I was first. We won earlier. At least I was. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. No, which came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken. The Hudeo Christian story of creation literally says God created birds, not eggs. No, it's the egg. Theistic evolution says chicken eggs are how God created chickens. Samuel Butler says a hen is only an egg way of making another egg. Both answers can't be right. Over millennia birds and their eggs evolved from an ancestor species into the species we have today. Neither came first, since the chicken is the egg and the egg is the chicken, both came first. All the answers can't be right. What's left? It all began after the Big Bang. What was before the Big Bang? The void. Energy. The negative space. God. Did God create man or man create God? In the beginning God. The Old Testament writer our story of the creation begins with a creator. For the Genesis poets this is the central truth. Everything proceeded from the word of God. He was first. When Job confronted God about the paternal abuse he was getting, he asked him who he was. 
God replied, That's what his Dada said. St. John put it another way. In the beginning was the Word. The creation was cosmic wordplay. God drops his eye into the Word and forms a world. Everything was a separate act of the power of God. Da, da. That means yes, yes in the Romanian language. Yes, yes. It's going to the dogs. You mean doggerel. What would it be like to lead a dog's life and not know you lead a dog's life? I do. I had overparked my time with wretched rhymes and jingle jangle lines. My metered mind had run out of nickels, so I began to write free verse. I moved from assonance to dissonance, from passonance to pissonance, and found myself the dog's delight. No, you got it backward. Beckett. Get off the bucket, stop waiting for Godo. Da, da. Get off your hobby horse. Dada, dada. That is French for hobby horse. Speaking of chickens, did the chicken come before man? You want to know the pecking order. Man was the last of his creation. No, woman was the ultimate creation. She came from Adam's rib. You get thrown into existence. Thrown. Thrust toward existence. Sorry. Painter hurls pigment onto canvas. Communes with colors. Potter emerges. Rose red pot. His wheel whirls. Spins galaxies, stars, planets. Black holes thrusts us from primal soup with scriptions tossed in a bottle too wet to read you must act decide in a meaningless world then fall you climb that mountain fall back and climb again. Yet Camus thinks we must be happy. Don't cackle if you haven't laid. But there is meaning. Religion fills that void. Only if you believe. And which religion do you believe in? Don't believe the God love free verse. Creation ain't free. It's hard work. Do we find meaning, or create it? I create meaning with my art. We find it in our love. But none of it lasts. We eventually fall back down that mountain. Why did the chicken cross the road? He went that way. To fly the coop. To get laid. That one laid an egg. To get a better perspective. To find meaning. No, why did the chicken cross the road? To beat the egg. He wanted to be first. I was first. No, he was a she. Roosters are his, hens are she's. She wanted to come first. A hen that struts like a rooster is often invited for dinner. No, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Look both ways before you cross over. I want to. No, why did the chicken cross the road? To immigrate. To break into new territory. No, she wanted to make an omelette. Sounds like the Donner party. That was no party. It didn't crack up to be one. She ate her young. Reminds me of Humpty. Humpty who? Humpty Dumpty, the egghead. Eggheads do fine, if they stay in their place, but went stray from their line, as if by design. They fall in disgrace with egg on their face. So, this is global warming. Fear of violence makes us more defensive and violent. That is what happens when you stick your neck out. Seems like a chicken sacrifice. 
Better than a virgin. We use wafers and wine. That was no Occam's razor. The resulting tension and violence causes more fear. That seems circular. What's left? Karl Marx. No, Groucho. In a retort to a club that did not accept minorities, including Jews, Groucho Marx quipped, I sent the club a wire stating, please accept my resignation. I don't want to belong to any club that will make an exception to accept me as a member. Why, Why can't, can't we, we get, get along, along together? together? We want to be first. We want to be unique. We want to stand out. Hung my own banner. We want to be part of the group. Birds of a feather flock together. We want to be a part of the group. And we want to be apart from the group. Let's secure the homeland with a new song. Develop new motifs, not cancel them out. Consonance needs dissonance, the familiar, the strange. Let the music begin. All chickens are the same color in the dark. Don't put all your eggs in that basket. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Like the chicken, I wouldn't want to be the first to go into that good night. Sometimes it's not good to be first. I'll wait for Godo. I'll stay with my religious dogma. We can't leave each other. We go together. We have to hang together, or we will fall separately. That was John's collective unconscious. We are finally getting our shit together. Don't be chicken. We've got to face our demons. Let's go. Mama. Last one to leave. Turn out the lights. Let's end this psychodrama with a nod to Lewis Carroll. How now the brown cow that boogies with the moon? The cat in the field scratches the grass and stokes the gray bear to water the grass. How now know what cannons know and where are the dreams? that's set in the sun, for all the old hats go silvery down, and the old gray mare sings as she goes, while evening drips over the bay. Can the open door know what goes with the wind, or dream the dreams dreaming and go with the dream? The bard of the bale sees the grass growing, while old hands weigh the gift of the heart. How is it saying the old mare baying, and where are the dreams, the age of old times? Keep the band playing, and steal the ring going. Ring the ling posy, and know the old rosy. Here the grass grows, and there bees sting for all the nosy and honey rose goes. Keep to the times of all sounds singing and follow the dreams that run with the wind. Here is the valley and know the grass growing for often the tale is far from our knowing. Give the grass greener and here is the louder Chimes are ringing and sounding their song.